I've spent over 20 years in human resources and I've always been very aware of people's body language. But it wasn't until I pretty much had a midlife crisis and I thought, oh my gosh, is this really what I want to do with the rest of my life? I started studying law enforcement interviewing techniques. I don't know why most people wouldn't do that, I did. And once I started studying what they were doing or how they used their technique, then it gave me the language to understand and explain to people what I was seeing and hearing from a body language standpoint. It was like a light bulb went off in my head and I went, oh my gosh, this is what I'm doing. So what's driving me and my company is eventually I want to retire to a surf shop, this is goofy, a surf shop uh, down off the Bay of Campeche and then once a quarter I'd like to sponsor you know, five, ten inner city kids to come down and experience a new culture, see the rainforest, work with uh, therapy animals, because I truly believe when they have that kind of an experience, number one, it gives them hope. It shows them that there are things going on outside of your little community, and I think it makes them more compassionate towards the environment, towards people, towards animals. And so my goal is to get underlying communications up to the point where I can start doing things like that to help these kids.